Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Banana Launcher and why I think it is personally an amazing plant in Plants vs Zombies 2. If you enjoy it, drop a like. As always, thank you for the support on the videos. Be sure to go check out any other videos on the channel and let me know in the comment section if there's any other plants or zombies from Plants vs Zombies 2 you want me to cover. So, Banana Launcher. You get him in Big Wave Beach. I'm sure you might have maybe used him a couple of times in a party event or something. This guy is awesome. I, uh, first of all, he looks quirky. He looks very, very derpy. And he is quite possibly one of my favourite plants in the entire game. Uh, and for good reason. So, on Big Wave Beach, you tend to get really, really uh, in deep in the water. No pun intended. You get in the deep end. And this guy just turns around the entire defence line uh for you when you use him so for those who don't know banana launcher is a little bit different compared to your average plant you can actually tap on him and tap on the screen where you want him to fire it doesn't matter what lane it is in and he's essentially an apple mortar banana edition on steroids uh he is super super powerful if i remember correctly he either costs four or five hundred sun which is a little bit expensive but he is definitely worth it. Um, I, I really, really like this character for many, many reasons. And I'm going to break down a couple of them right now. So first of all, if you're going up against Octodad, if you're going up against a fisherman, this guy will wipe them out without any hesitation. Super, super easy. Get the job done. And he says banana whenever he shoots. I don't know why that's funny to me, but the way he says it is super, super cool as well. So... He definitely does make a huge game-changing, uh, you know, impact whenever you play Big Wave Beach or any other levels, whenever you unlock him. I can assure you, if you unlocked him and you go face another level somewhere previously, Dark Ages, Wild West, uh, Frostbite Caves, I don't know, you could definitely make him work. And to be honest with you, he is... Pretty much going to do the same there as well in any other other map. Um, he is just super powerful. And I think that's the main thing I like about him. Alongside that, like I said, you can actually choose where you shoot. He does take a little bit of time to recharge uh, in terms of, you know, reloading, if that's what you want to call it. But if you can work around that and maybe get a nice solid defense of walnuts or, I don't know, um, injurians or something in front of him, they ain't going to be getting close to this guy anytime soon. Now, the main reason why I like this guy is because on a couple of the levels on Big Wave Beach, and I'm sure on any other levels that include Gargantuas, this guy does save your backside plenty of times. He does take out Gargantuas really, really well, and he has saved me more times than I can count um, in, in my Plants vs. Zombies 2 videos. So, Banana Launcher for me, he looks great, he does really well, but how does he stack up against you know, like a boss or something like that. Now, obviously, at the end of every map, you have to use the uh, zombies and the plants from that map. So, if it was Big Wave Beach, you have to use uh, Banana Launcher, Guacodile, um, you know, Tangle Kelp, stuff like that, against the shark robot that Dr. Zomboss is piloting. And then, obviously, he also spawns in uh, any Big Wave Beach zombies. So, if I remember correctly, this guy does do a lot of damage to the boss as well. Um, I can't remember how many bars of health Dr. Zomboss actually has in Big Wave Beach. It's been so long since I've completed it. Um, it's been a long time since i played it in general. But uh, yeah, I feel like this guy just doesn't really have a weakness. He just does everything. And he's super, super derpy looking. I mean, look at that smile. Look, look at the different bananas I'm surrounded by right now. They're all smiling. And to be honest, we've actually had a bit of a laugh with this character before on the channel whenever we played Garden Warfare 2 or anything like that. And it seems like a lot of you also like Banana Launcher, which is awesome. So I like the character. I, I think it's a great plant. Definitely expensive. But if you can work around that with Primal Sunflower, maybe some fertilizer to get that increased sun production real quick. You'll be sitting comfortably with this guy. Um, maybe put him at the very back and then put a row of sunflowers and a row of pea shooters or something. I don't know. Work it out and try him out for yourself. Let me know in the comment section. Do you like Banana Launcher? Do you think he's bad? Do you think he's good? And as always, be sure to stay safe, stay hydrated, keep on gaming. And I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Be sure to check out any other content. And I'll see you soon. Take care.